We're here at my buddy Steve's house. He has a 2012 EcoBoost F-150. Truck has been used really hard. He hunts, he's, you can see all the stickers on the back. He's actually like an influencer for a bunch of hunting stuff. Um, so this truck's been off-road most of its life. It's been treated pretty rough. He's got some plastic knocked off here and there. He's gonna work on that. But what he told me was, is he bought this camper. It's about 27 foot long, 6,200 pounds or something, which is well within the towing capabilities of that truck. But he tells me that as soon as he hooks it up the first time, bad boy squats down. Now he does have a puck level on the front of that truck, which is very typical. A lot of people do that, especially on an older truck like that. So it doesn't have fancy schmancy shocks that are aftermarket. We're gonna hook this up to the truck and show you exactly how it squats right now. We're all hooked up now. We've got a little easy lift weight distribution hitch on here. Been behind the wheel for about 10 miles now. And man, Steve was not lying. This thing really needs some help. You're not gonna believe how bad it's squatted right now. First, driving characteristics. Um, well, the front end is way up off the ground and this steering wheel is super light. The steering is really vague because of that. Lots of shimmy. This thing bucks with the slightest pothole or you know bump in the road. And we get a lot of porpoising going on right now. You know, just overall, it's not that safe. Once we get the Roadmaster active suspension on, and we get that uh, rear end back up where it's supposed to be, all that's gonna go away. And um, hopefully this thing will be a whole lot more stable. So let's head to the garage and get to work. This 2012 F-150 has seen quite a bit of action back here over its lifespan. And so these leaf springs are a little bit more wore out than say a brand new truck. A lot of you guys are going to see this type of squat be pretty typical on what you're driving. So let's see what we've got back here for a before and an after. So from the ground to the fender liner, we are just under 37 inches. Let's check the front. Up here in the front, we are just under 41 inches. We got it unhooked now and it's like a little over two and a half inches uh, less squat just unhooking the truck and everything. So it'll be interesting to see what the RAS does to this truck. This is what you get in the box. You get some bump stop spacers. These come already assembled, um, just need to be adjusted correctly. Um, so we're going to jack up the truck, put some jack stands under the leaf springs and throw these on sam has this side installed this is the driver's side nice and clean very easy you can hear him cranking over there on the passenger side she'll be finished up here in one second All right, so we're in the truck with the Roadmaster on with no load. You can see behind us, we don't have the camper hooked up yet, but we wanted to get a feel for how this thing drives with these things adjusted just right for how much weight he's gonna tow um, and nothing pulling. What's it like? I mean, you're not gonna notice much of anything. Uh, maybe going around hairpin corners and stuff, you feel a little bit more stable uh, with the truck, but it's, it's gonna drive great. Um, a lot of products out there, Sumo Springs, Timbrens, uh, even airbags to some extent, they're gonna cause your truck to drive very stiff and harsh and bumpy, uh, depending on how those are set up. And trust me, I've tried those in every possible fashion and configuration. You're gonna hate those products because they make your truck drive like trash from then on. So uh, this is an option that doesn't do that. And let's go see the results. Let's hook this camper up. We're putting the weight back on it. Let's see where this thing's gonna come down to. How much does she squat? So let's see what we've got. So it looks like we're a little over 38 and a half, almost 38 and three quarters, and we were a little under 37. So we've gained at least an inch and a half, inch and three quarters of squat. So does, that that's, take, how much, does that take most of it out? Most of it, yeah. I mean, that's quite a bit. So that would that be like three quarters inch squat left? Yeah, I think this was around, it was right under 40 with just sitting static. So, you know, it's not squatting that much now, guys. And so that's gonna definitely help while we're towing. 
so up here in the front we were at 40 and 7 8 so we're more like 40 now um, so it's everything's come back down the weight shifted more towards the front um, it's greatly improved what we had before so let's see how this thing drives these are actually doing their job I mean I knew they would I've got them on my own personal vehicle but the big question mark is it's an older truck with older yeah. leaf springs and um, honestly Roadmaster told me because I was I was like do we need to change the leaf springs out this thing's lived a hard life 174,000 miles on yeah. it I was like do we need to change the leaf springs out put something new something beefy on there do you think it's shocks right. I mean maybe the shocks have been replaced but they're factory no, they're, they're, Ford. they're the original shocks <laughs> with 174,000 they look to be anyway I mean I'm... that's a lot that's <laughs> a lot of miles but um, and this thing's been in the mud it's been banged around on everything it's a hunting truck yeah absolutely <laughs> It's a good looking hunting truck when you clean it up, but it's definitely feels great in here. Now I didn't do the before ride in here. So Sam, you tell me, we just pulled out on a four lane highway. I mean, the stability of big turns like that with a large camper, a lot of times it's gonna make you feel like you're gonna flip something or whatever. Okay. You're getting a lot more stability first okay. off. Um, when you hit bumps in the road and things like that, you still feel the bump. Yep. But instead of sitting there and just boom, 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 and feeling it for forever and, and letting the suspension, you know, wave with you, it's solid. It takes that bump and it, it gets rid of all that uh, Marble. porpoise and everything. And you love really, that word, I love it because that's what it is. Porpoise. I, mean, I don't even know what I know what a porpoise it's, it's is. It's where you feel like you're driving something and okay. it's sitting there uh, porpoising with. You, I call so. that warble. It, or, let or, us know or, down below <laughs> is that te is that term should it be warble w-a-r-b-l-e or porpoise and i'm not going to try to spell that one back to the truck you can tell a big difference the steering is more stable and everything now so i Before, was filming the b-roll and it looks like the rear end or the front is kind of way further down than it was you know you're getting a lot more weight up there on your front tires so your steering is going to feel better it's not so vague now it was a carolina squat truck it literally was <laughs> before but yeah guys i mean they're doing what they were designed to do they're taking a load that is you know it's pretty far up there for this truck i mean that tra trailer weighs quite a bit it's a pretty long one it makes it to where it's a much more enjoyable experience if you're you know taking this thing several hundred miles or across country or whatever you don't have to sit there and white knuckle it the whole time now you can enjoy the trip yeah. and and make your family safer just to be clear this is not a substitute for trying like you can't over tow what your actual vehicle will tow if right. you're pulling something that weighs way out of the bounds of what your truck will pull you need to go get a bigger truck first they do make the roadmaster for bigger trucks you can still get the same characteristics on a 2500 or 3500 series so always tow within your limits but if you're going towards the middle up on the limits of what you tow i think this is something you might want to look at yep when i was filming this b-roll i even filmed uh, where he stopped on a little hill and when he pulled off like the back of the truck before these roadmasters would have been squatted down probably almost touching with that much pressure and obviously the front's going to go up on something like that but that bad boy was locked down in place and it didn't just keep on squatting we'll go ahead and throw a link to the roadmaster site down in the description and if we can get a promo code for them it'll be down there as well thanks for watching the video make sure you subscribe catch you in the next one peace, peace.